In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a word problem using a quadratic equation with rational roots. For this example we're told that the area of a rectangle is 77 yards squared and the length of the rectangle is 3 yards more than double the width. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So first since we're talking about the area of a rectangle we should recall that the area of a rectangle equals its length times its width. And from this example, we can see that the area is 77 and that the length is three yards more than double the width. So we don't know what the width of the area is. So I'll call that X. And from this description, we can see that the length is three yards more than double the width. And now that we have the area and the length and width, expressed. We can use our formula at the top here where area is 77. The length, I'll write in parentheses to show multiplication, is 2x plus 3 and that's being multiplied by the width which is x. And now that we have an equation we can go about solving. First simplifying the right hand side we can distribute the x to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So 77 equals 2x squared plus 3x. And then to solve, since this is a quadratic, I would want to set it equal to 0. And I can do that by subtracting the 77 over to the other side. Canceling it on the left gives me a 0 equals. On the right hand side, we now have 2 x squared plus 3x minus 77. Having a quadratic equal to 0, we can now solve by first factoring the quadratic. So 0 on the left hand side. Factoring this quadratic, since the first term is 2x squared, using trial and error there's only one combination, 2x and x, that would multiply to 2x squared. And then looking at the last term, the minus 77, that would have to be either 1 and 77 to multiply to be 77 or 7 and 11. With those possibilities in mind, I would try plugging them in, multiplying the inside and the outside to see which one gives me the positive 3x as a middle term. And here I can see that if I use the 7, the outside would now give me a 14x and the 11 multiplied would give me an 11x. And since I'm looking for a positive 3x, this would be positive. And I would want the 11 to be negative so that they add up to a positive 3x. And of course, the negative 11 and positive 7 multiplied to be a negative 77. So we have factored the quadratic. And since we have two terms being multiplied, with the result of 0, that means that either the first term, 2x minus 11, must be 0, or the second term, x plus 7, must be 0, in order to multiply and have a result of 0. Solving each of these, I have on the left, moving the 11 over, 2x equals 11, dividing by 2, x is 5.5. On the right hand side, subtracting the 7 over, we have x equals negative 7. So we have two possible solutions. However, recall that x is the width of the rectangle, and since it's a distance, we can't have a width of negative 7. So our width here would have to be 